Warning, all attendees are in listen-only mode. Evening team, how are you going? Hope everyone's well. I uh, just wanted to welcome everyone on board. Thanks very much for taking the time on a Sunday night to um, to listen to, to what we have to talk about. Um, obviously, the New Year Challenge, if you've never done a webinar before or been involved in a webinar, I'll be able to put things up on the screen so that you can see. If at any time um, you want to answer a question just on your right-hand side or wherever you are, um, control panel is you're about to put some questions in there hopefully I'll get through all of the questions tonight as well if not then uh, email me and I can go through more questions for you um, what I'm actually going through is is generally the seminar that I go through on the face-to-face -face training um, gives you a good insight about what the program is and how it came about and with that also is if you go down onto your handouts you'll see there e new you may 16 so that's a pdf for you guys that's a free pdf and pretty much it's just about all the information that i go on about um that you can have firsthand whether you go onto the program or not or, or you know whatever you want to do in the future it's just a good little resource um talking about little things that you can do to change in your lifestyle on a daily basis give you a little more understanding about macronutrients and what you need to do and what you can do and um, and share it with anyone. It's, it's yours. You know, really it's just um, it's information that's out there. So I'm just sort of compiled it together to, to give you the best heads up. All right, we're a couple minutes after seven, so we'll get started. Um, we can see here uh, the seminar notes. So what's the secret? At the end of the day, you'll see some of my notes down here as well if you've got a good enough screen, depending on whether you're on um, your handheld mobiles or you've got a big desktop in front of you. But really, the box, the diet, the exercise, that's what it's always been about. We've been told over years and years and years that for us to make a change, we need to go and train, start training, start lifting, um, do more, eat less, all that type of thing. Okay, it's all about diet and exercise. Yeah, so that's what it is yeah. at the end of the day. Um, if you're looking to do something different, then that's the sort of mentality we need to get out of. You can't continue to do more and more exercise to achieve the body you want to achieve as well as try and live and do everything else without sacrificing something. But again, the word diet, and we get really hung up on this, is that to me a diet is really – a food plan that you can do forever. And if you can do it forever, then that is your diet. That is your meal plan. If you're going to go on something short term or, you know, a month, two months, three months, and then go back to what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always got. Okay. You're still going to end up, um, you know, potentially being the same way you are now. All right. So sorry to say, there is no right pill. There is no one exercise. There's no one diet. There's no one thing that fits everybody. Right, but what we can do is just get a better understanding of the response to exercise, food, and sleep to give you then um, a formula that's going to work best for you. Okay, and that's how we that's how we go through it. Hormones are a massive thing. So insulin, um, look at the estrogen levels, testosterone, cortisol, leptin, ghrelin. So these are all hormones, and you would have heard the terms insulin sensitive and insulin resistant, okay? So insulin sensitive obviously is good. Insulin resistant is bad. It means, for example, if you're insulin resistant, that um, your body's ability to use um, sugar, if you like, or stored body fat as an energy source, it just isn't there. You can't continue to absorb the amount of sugar and everything that you are and try and get a response as far as lowering your body fat levels, feeling leaner, sleeping better, and all those types of things. Um, so hormones in Greek, really it's just about to set in motion, and, and that's what we're after. So our hormones really regulate everything about us, if you like, um, to the breakdown of sugar, to the use of that sugar as an energy source, to go into the body, to um help the body replenish muscle get the muscle synthesis over so that we can then repair muscle that we're using etc etc so that's really 
that's really what we need to do. We need to make sure we're getting back to this homeo status, back to this ground zero and of understanding that over time we've exposed ourselves to so many different elements of toxicity, whether it be synthetic light and sitting in front of computers at night time like us now or um, you know, watching too much television, all those types of things. That has a hormonal response to us along with the food that we eat. That has a um, – it can cause and does cause a lot of imbalances along the way. So estrogen we know obviously is that um, – is the female hormone and too much of that in the system, then the body or the female body then starts to think that it's pregnant. So what does it do? It stores extra weight on the hips and around the tummy and on the glutes and underneath the arms and in the fatty tissue of the, of the breast and that type of thing if, you're, uh, if you haven't got your hormones correct. Testosterone for male obviously is, is obviously what we need. It's going to help replenish the muscles and get the body doing what it needs to do. Uh, we talk about cortisol, the stress hormone, and um, but it's also a hormone that we need because we, we need cortisol in the system. Um, but that donut element you have around your belly button, okay, that's, that's a result of too much cortisol, too much stress in the body. Um, and that can come from both food as well as even working out too much, doing too much. Okay, so a couple of terms we run around with all the time is you work out and you work in. Okay, so along with working out, which is training, breaking down muscle, um, getting the sweat, getting the hormones in balance, you need to actually work on work in as well. So it's the good nutrition, the fluids, uh, making sure your hormones are balanced, checking your medication that you're on, and making sure that medication isn't having an adverse effect to your hormones, um, you know, is it fat storing, weight storing, that type of thing as well. So it's really, uh, really a big, um, a big process that we need to look out for. The ghrelin, so the ghrelin has, has sort of been around since the 70s. We really sort of got an understanding of it. Um, it's a fast-acting hormone. It's, it's like a, it's, it's related to your, to your meal intuition. So it's telling you that I'm full, stop eating. Um, let that food be absorbed in the system and then look for more food later. Um, and then when we don't have that, then potentially we don't get an off switch when we're eating foods or if we're eating foods that are high in sugars and high in fats and that combination together, that ghrelin doesn't even get a chance to sort of tap in and go, hey, hang on a minute, you've had too much, you have had enough, let that food be absorbed, let it get utilised with the body um, and stop overeating more so than anything else. Um, so, you know, those, those sort of things we need to be really careful of. So hormones, metabolism, thyroid. So we know that, that homeostatus talking about, again, balancing the hormones, balancing the metabolism. And then in comes the old thyroid, and especially for the females, and just another one of the hormones the females tend to get that, uh, that us males don't have to worry about too much. But thyroid and regulation of thyroid is a massive thing about fat loss, weight loss, um, and how we can really understand it and control it. Um, as the female has the thyroid going through and what happens over time is that we train more, um, we train more to try and lose more, but we end up losing less. Is because your body is so amazing in the fact that it can deregulate thyroid um, so that you're burning less energy while you're doing more work. That's how efficient it is. And obviously that over time then just puts you into a metabolic stress um, and then we, we lose that whole thyroid balance and balance, that type of thing as well. So, you know, getting understanding of that metabolism, getting understanding about thyroid is really going to help. We talk about cleansing um, and you'll see everywhere, 24-hour cleanses, nine-day cleanses. Um, the Osogenics goes through a 28-day cleanse, meaning that one day a week, over the four weeks, um, you're going to go through a cleanse process. Um, we've we've always done it, even in our new you process, where we're eating just whole foods. We go through a juicing day, where we're predominantly just eating, you know, green vegetables. Uh, we're adding in our fats, uh, adding in our apple cider vinegars, that type of thing to help create the good bacteria that's coming through the gut and get that food absorbed and broken down. And you know, the benefits of cleansing are, are massive. And sometimes we forget about those benefits as well. So it aids in fat oxidization, stimulates detoxification. So 
um, all the toxins, everything that gets stored in our body gets stored in our, our body fat, or anything else. So this helps oxidize that stress out, if you like. And when you go through that fast, the body then sort of starts to scream out to itself and go, okay, where am I going to get my next batch of energy from? I might as well start converting this body fat that I have and it starts to break down all that body fat. But, you know, we're going to understand also that in that body fat is our toxins, like we've just sort of mentioned. And then as you go through that cleanse, your, your body feels like it's going through a flu. Um, you start to get sick, you get headaches, you get, you know, itchy rashes, you get cold sweats, all those types of things because our body is so toxic and it's absorbed all that toxicity and it's, and it's sitting in our batters fat and our fat as well. So the other benefits of cleansing, so obviously it reduces fat mass and then also helps us by regrowing good bacteria. Um, and a good bacteria is predominantly in the gut. And that's really what we need to get because if we've got good flourish, you know, flourish nutrients in the gut, that means the food that we're eating is then better absorbed. You know, now we talk about um, people with so many ailments, you know, the lactose intolerant, wheat intolerant, all these different things coming through. And it's generally just because our, our gut flora isn't as, as good as it should be. Um, and throughout the month of the, the training program and during our face-to-face sessions, we give you heads up on what you can do on a daily basis to help grow that good bacteria, you know, how you should start your de- your tea or, your, sorry, your, your beginning of your day with a little tonic that we make up on that as well along the way, um, just a, an aid of stimulating good flora, getting the best out of our nutrients and, and sort of moving forward from there. Macros. Okay, so everyone should know about our macros. So we're talking about protein, carbs, fats, um, the energy output that we have from those things. So if we look at energy itself, you know, fat has twice as much energy and calories as protein and carbohydrates. Okay, but also with carbohydrates, there's also a fluid response as well, meaning the body. So for every gram of carbohydrate, you've got like a meal of fluid coming through. So if you've got a high carbohydrate diet or a high sugar diet, um, then that's also going to drag in a lot of fluid into the cells uh, and give you that bloatedness and also that and create that inflammation through your joints and that as well. So we're going to try and cut down on those things. But if we understand that fat produces twice as much energy as carbohydrates and protein, then why is all of our meal plans and diets that – you know, we've been brainwashed with saying we need to limit the amount of fat, okay? If your fat's coming from a good source and predominantly meat is going to be your best source of fat, you can add in your coconut oils and your um, your fish oils and all those types of things along the way as well, but that's going to give you energy, okay? If we understand our metabolism a little more and we talk about, you know, how that the whole conversion of energy and that type of thing as well, the actual use of carbohydrates on a daily basis, if we relate it back to heart rate, is that we need to be sort of 70, 75, 80% of our maximum heart rate to actually utilize carbohydrates. Okay, so if we've if we've you know got a cup of tea and we keep filling that teacup with more and more carbohydrates, but we're only we're only burning the minimal amount on a daily basis, you know, you ask yourself, how much hard physical activity are you doing per day you know are you doing that 40 50 90 minutes where you need to warrant having more than two slices of bread more than you know half a cup of rice more than half a cup of oats if you're consuming more carbohydrates than that then you are eating for an athlete and you know potentially if you're here in this in this webinar you're probably not an athlete you're probably trying to be an athlete but you need to really get your food in order. And then we look at protein as well. So protein, obviously, we need. Every time we lift a weight, we go running, um, we, we have physical exertion, we're going to start to break down muscle fiber. Okay, so we need to replenish that muscle fiber. So that's going to come from good protein. So can protein combined with fat with limited carbs, we're going to get a much better response from the body. And it's going to you know, increase your judgment better. You're going to have less cloudiness day or less cloud sort of hovering over your head. You're going to feel less lethargic, all of those things, okay? So remember, we're here about trying to create a change. If you've been doing what you're doing and you get to the roadblock and week two, week three, week four, and you keep rebounding back, it's probably because you haven't got these macronutrients correct. 
Okay, and that's you know the beauty of this of this course as well. Um, you know, once you go through the the new you program for thirty days, is that you're going to get a really good understanding of of how my macronutrients, how they can be broken down, what's going to work best for me. Okay, and we'll give you those tools along the way. So, at the end of the day, where does success come from? It's coming from knowing your food, measuring your food, creating your meals, and knowing your requirements. Okay, that's that's really it in a nutshell. Um, and you know, we talk about counting our calories and understanding what food it is, and and putting it as a whole, so that if I look at a bit of a pie chart as far as my carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Initially, we need to get a really good understanding of that is you know it's it's no different than going to the gym for the first time and getting a program and someone showing you how to go through that program and you making notes and they're coming back and they're inspecting you going through that program. Okay, that's just that's just knowledge. That's just how we need to go through it. Now, that's why we go to school. That's why we have learning, all that type of things. So that's what we talk about here: knowing your food, measuring your food. I need to know. How big a steak or fish or meat or whatever it might be, anything with eyes, I need to know how much to put on my plate, how much to have each meal two or three times or four times a day. I need to know how much carbohydrate if I'm going to put any in, depending on how much body fat I've currently got. I need to know how much fat I need to put in. Uh, and generally, from, from my experience in the last 20-odd years, um, females especially, sorry ladies, cop on a hammering again, but... Like you, you don't eat enough protein, you don't eat enough fat, and we have, you know, juice diets coming through, and we do the brown rice diets, and we have all these other things, these contraindications coming through that we need to have more carbohydrates. And if I have lean carbohydrates and I eat clean, then my body's going to, you know, do what it needs to do. It just doesn't, guys. It just doesn't do it. So, you know, that's what we're trying to create around that is making sure we're creating a meal, getting understanding of that. Um, we utilize an app, or I suggest utilizing an app. It's called My Fitness Pal. Uh, it's really simple. It's got pretty much every food that you can actually go through, and you're plugging it in, and it's giving you the information you need. Okay, it's telling you how much carbs, proteins, fats, and everything along the way. That's a really good, useful tool. Um, if we're going to go down the lines of the isogenics model, and the isogen, like I personally am on the isogenics. Uh, been on it mainly for you guys coming into it again. So our next program starts Monday week. And for all the people that are looking at isogenics and, and uh, the isogenics products to help them get through into this new you, I can't recommend it enough. Um, for those who know me or have seen me or anything like that, like I used to be a sugar junkie, loved it. Absolutely love it. Ice cream, chocolate, and I think it's it's pretty normal for um, for trainers in the industry. The fact that you know we burn the candle at both ends, we create this uh, stressful environment around ourselves, as well as try and then educate people on what they need to do, but we forget about ourselves. So it's you know it's really easy for me as a as a business owner. Um, you know, since Christmas, I've lost eight kilos. So it was a great Christmas. Um, overindulged, over ate, but I let sugar and ice cream and things like that like really get the better of me. Too many beers coming through on a um, you know on a weekly basis, things like that. And they're all things that we can have, but just in moderation. Once we get ourselves back into the right way, and you know this is really where if the whole knowing your foods, measuring your foods, creating your meals, if that's all too hard, then um, isogenics. It really was the answer for me. It's taken me a long time to get a um, a supplementation that I recommend. And, and obviously, supplements are everywhere. You know, there's a new supplement shop opening every corner. There's there's so much stuff on hand. We get so much online and everything like that as well. And um, for those, you know, some people have heard good things about osteogenics. Some people have seen bad things about osteogenics. And I was one of those people as well. But until, again, you know, over the last month, I've been back on the products and and the way that I've felt and the, the, the body fat that I've released and the centimeters I've lost, I couldn't be happier. Um, and that's sort of, it's given me a new lease of life to say, hey, I need to expose people to this um, and to the isogenics again. I need to 
um, go through the process with you, make sure you're there, make sure you understand and, and sort of work it through. So, you know, there's a couple of different ways that we can go through it. So the 28 day new year, um, there's just some of the results we've seen over the, you know, over the last few months. Um, businessmen coming through and just getting too busy and changing around their days. So we're adding in shakes and adding in juices. We've got a couple of mums there with two or three kids and, you know, they go through their changes as well as um, someone that was like really reasonably fit. And I look at her and I go, hey, you don't really need to be on this new year. But in saying that, she increased her energy. Her vitality came back. She got so much stronger. She felt more confident about herself. And it really it was like within – Within two weeks, it was a new person coming into train. Um, she was someone who wasn't real confident about picking up weights, and with the three sessions a week that we provide in the new year, she was, she was, you know, gun ho by the end of the month, and she still continued on, and she's loving it, and she's got a new lease of life. She actually went away, um, moved suburbs, went to another gym. Two weeks later, came back. She just goes, you know what, this this program really works. I thought I could duplicate it somewhere else, but the whole environment that we've created at Peak Body and the trainers and the education and things like that is, is sort of second to none. So, you know, I'm very proud of that. It's it's my company and, you know, we try and work work hard with it. So what do we get? What How does the program work? So what we're recommending, two to three weight sessions a week, okay? Um, forum, social media support, so we're getting that as well. We start our own groups, whether it be a, a Facebook group, whether it be an Instagram group, whether it be a, um, just a, a pure email group, that's what we go through. Accountability, name and shame. I ask you to provide to me your affirmation, what it is you want to achieve, why do you want to achieve it, and then I'm going to hold you to it. I'm going to want you to share that with other people, and they're going to hold you to it. So then together we're all going to help you get your – your numbers, your centimetres down. So that's your accountability. Safety and numbers. Okay, so um, we talk about online programs. This really, it, it's a bit of a hybrid. Yes, it's an online program, but really only through the education and webinars that I give you. The face-to-face training um, is just that. It, it's about getting a really good understanding of your training, how you lift properly, what exercises are going to be best suited for you, whether you've got orthopedic issues, if you've got a bad shoulder or a bad hip, a bad knee. We'll show you the exercises you can do that's not only going to help you move better, um, it's going to help you feel better. We're going to reduce the stress around the joints. We're going to reduce the inflammation around the joints and stabilize the joints so that you can actually start moving better. Okay, So who wouldn't want that? Third, education and options. Um, so that, that's the biggest thing as well. Like I say, with the webinars coming through now, um, questions will come to me during the week I'll then write up those questions I'll do a webinar based on those questions and you get that first hand information whether you can jump on the webinar or not we'll send it to you in the email put it to you on the social media so that you've always got that information there okay uh, what have we got here so some numbers all right so now we start talking about these numbers and converting body weight to pounds and stuff like that. I'm not going to go through that. Uh, the only reason being is that all that information, let me just shift that over. All that information we talk about in the, the rest of the seminar notes is all in this pig body in you. Okay, so in this document down here. And it goes through exactly. So introduction of pig body, so just – Myself and the directors, what we've got to say, what do I get? So it talks about um, what do I get out of it, the keys to success, getting started, so understanding what's required. Where am I now? And then that's a massive thing as well. So where am I? Measurements, my carbs, my fats, my protein. Um, we'll let Isogenics do all that for you. That's a, that's a really simple way as well. And then closing notes. Okay. So if we – we look at it, it just talks about, again, understanding the factors of what's required. So what's going to be the ticket to success? Doing these resistance sessions, one or two cardio sessions depending on your body fat levels. Going through the support, accountability, safety and numbers, self-made meals and guided structures. All right, so again, we'll give you meal options. Um, we'll show you how to manipulate those meals based on what your numbers come out at. Come out at. 
okay? So again, if, if you're not doing the isogenics way and having all that food provided for you, which is a fantastic and simple way, especially if, you know, like myself, I juggle a household, I run a business, I have dogs and kids and partner to look after and, you know, sometimes this gets all too much. And if I've got a simple way and I know exactly what my requirements are, it just makes it so much easier. So understanding what's required, that's a big thing as well. You know, I want you to take a photo. I want you to write your affirmation, prepare your meals, trust in the process and enjoy the journey. That, that's really what it's about as well. When we talk about cleanse days or detox days, um, we're all going to be going through it. So it's not you by yourself battling through going, oh, my God, I've got a headache and, and you know, my partner's has come in, I've just about ripped a hole in the throat. It's just to understand those things is that, you know, your body has got toxicity in it. That that toxicity is coming out and it's making you do things. It's making you say things. But we'll give you little treats along the way to help you manipulate that and get through that. Where am I now? Like I say, understanding, you know, how many calories do I need? What What's ideal for me based on my body type, based on my body fat percentages? Um, you know, how much energy, energy should I be really eating? Well, we help you through that. That's what's in that document there as well measurement guide there so it's just a, a weekly um, accountability process so you know we want to take your measurements four five six times over the coming weeks we also there throw in a schedule for ideally how you should go through it so what happens on day one day two day three day four day five day six day seven we, we give you that nutritional information we give you the guidelines what's expected from you to get the success you're looking for okay on your detox days or your cleanse days, what you can have, what you can't have, that type of thing. Um, on that, you know, the other page, page eight, we talk about your new use suggested suggested weekly schedule. So it's about, um, you know, what I can do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay? It's about if I can't train in the morning, can I train in the afternoon? The way we do that face-to-face training, and that's why it works so well for us, and the accountability is that if you say you're going to join this program and you come along for it, I expect you to come in Monday, Wednesday, Friday to lift your weights. And if you've got opportunities on other days, I've got something for you to do on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So potentially, all you've got to do is wake up, pack your bag, come to the gym, and we'll do the rest for you. Okay? Come with the right attitude. We can adjust your attitude too. Come with your nutrition or an understanding of nutrition, know what you're going to do after your training, know what's, you know, your requirements of that night and getting your food organized. I'm going to ask for your affirmation. So I've actually, on this document, I've got my affirmation. I, Tony Merrick, will over the next 28 days and then fill in the blank. You write it in, sign it, date it, and then get someone to witness it. Or bring it in and we'll get one of the coaches to witness it for you. We'll then keep you in tune with what it is you need to do, okay, because it's obviously important to you. You're obviously, you know, you're giving up time on a Sunday night to, to listen to this webinar. It's obviously important if you can take one or two things out of it and make those changes and put that into your everyday regime and become leaner, fitter, stronger, more energy, less injuries, less inflammation, then, you know, what's stopping you? Um, closing note, so this talks about, you know, difference between weight loss and, um, and losing in centimeters. Your affirmation again, follow the schedule. Find and eat the best possible foods uh, and then read your affirmation daily. You know, that's going to be your motivation. And just a little bit of thing there. I thank you for, for coming along. I thank you for taking the e-letter, the e-letter, that type of thing. And then there's a few little references there as well, okay? So that's all the information that I've got for you there. That was the seminar notes, um, the notes broken down into a little more details, what you've got there, that's free for you. Um, the rest is about, okay, so what, what happens here? So if I want to get started, great. Hit me up on an email. You've got all my details there from your webinar or come into, come into the gym tomorrow, Tuesday, and say, yep, I'm in. I'm on board. I want to sign up and do it. If you're a current member, it's going to cost you $99 on top of your membership, okay? If you're not a member, it's going to cost you $200 and you get unlimited access plus you get the program as well, okay? So it's really good value. 
if you're looking at doing the isogenics as well, which again, you know, I, I'm, I'm a testament to it. I, I love it. It's given me lots of energy. I feel really good. I'll, for a day, if I go off it for a day, I actually feel bad. Not not bad the fact that I've gone off it. I just don't have the same energy. I don't sleep as well. So it's got some massive benefits behind it. You know, there's some of the ingredients we look at and soy and things like that. And it's got an element trace of soy in, in some of the shakes and that. But I just go, you know what? I've got to try it. I've got to go through it. And the results have been, you know, great, fantastic. So that package is just for your food. That's about another $378 depending on whether you need more protein in it or just the amount that it gives you. Okay, so depending on how much training you're doing, um, what your current body fat level is, how much body weight you have, that type of thing, I will then give you the suggestion of do you need the um, the Isopro or just the Isoline. Okay, so there's two options there. But but again, you know, don't be concerned about it. Um, and the price, you know, you got to remember that you're going to save so much money on food, so much money on time, and you're getting the right amount of nutrients that the body needs. So, you know, if you're unsure, unsure about what product you should be having, unsure about even yourself going out and getting a shopping list and getting my real foods, not to say that Isogenics doesn't have real foods, it's still promoting and educating that way as well. It's just giving us some supplements, some shakes, and that's have along the way. So it's, uh, it's, it's really quite productive. Okay, so... That's about all I got. If there's any questions, now's a good time to ask. You've got a, a questions box there and you can flick it through and I can either send it to you privately or I can answer the question for everyone. Um, otherwise, if there's no questions, that's a shame. I've either done really well or I've done really bad. And you just can't wait to get off the line. So you tell me what's going to be best for you. Um, at the end of the broadcast, there's obviously going to be a feedback form in that, please. The, the best way for me to make these webinars uh, better and more, and more of an advantage for, for listeners is just to get your feedback, whether it be good, whether it be bad. You know, it's the only way that I can grow. And um, so I really do recommend sending that information through. Otherwise, if there's no more questions or if there's no questions, I'll give you another minute or so. Um, and, yeah, you, you'll have all my contact information there. You would have got it in the email that you've gone through. Uh, again, please, if you – there we go. Is the Isogenics pack for the whole 28 days? Yes, it is. Yep, it's a whole 28 days, so everything's contained. Um, everything. Oh, I wish I had a box here in front of me. I don't have a box, but – yeah, it starts at 320, at 378. Um, like I said, that'll be just the Isoline. The Isoline Pro is a couple of dollars more a day. Um, but that's all you need. Yep, that on top of your training, and that's what we sort of look for is that we know you're going to get the right response. Thanks for the information. No problems at all. Thank you. Um, all good, guys. Like I say, share the wealth, the knowledge that we've just given you or sharing with you. Use the, the new. Um, the E new you, share that with your friends. If you're looking at the isogenics and you, and you want to go along those lines, I've got a couple of people. Um, sort of Tuesday, Wednesday is the latest that I need details simply so that it, it's going to take a couple of days for it to arrive and it will arrive on your doorstep. And that way, come Monday, we can get you started there as well. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, if you – if you are coming on board and you are going through that, you can go to all that information through reception. If you need the isogenics, then hit me up personally. But we will have a launch on Friday night. Uh, I think it'll be around 5.30, 6 o'clock on Friday night at the club. And it's just a little welcome pack. So all the things that you'll need over the coming weeks um, and just a little, you know, meet the faces, um, know you're not out there alone and uh, and just, yeah, get set for the, for the coming month. All right, team, I thank you again. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to seeing you soon or hearing from you soon. Bye for now.